Hey everybody, this is Walter with Access Electric and today I wanted to talk to you about offset conduit bends. Now not just offsets, I actually wanted to do an offset and then do parallel offsets. Uh, well, something I've noticed in the field is people know how to do offset bends just fine. They know how to use their multipliers for especially 30 degree angles being 2 and 45 degree angles being 1.4. First of all, do you know where you come up with those multipliers? I'm going to show you where to find that today. And second of all, how do you do offset, parallel offsets correctly so that your angle, your, your gaps between the bends are equal all the way through your offsets? That's what we're going to learn today on this episode of Access to Power. All right, so the first thing I want to do is talk to you about where to find the multipliers that we use for our offset angles. This is the Uglies book. I've showed this to you before. Uh, most electricians I know have one. If you turn in this, in this Uglies book, there is a table called Natural Tri Trigonometry Functions. And on this column, you have every angle from 0 to 45, and you also have all the sine, the cosine, the tangent, the cotangent, the secant, and the cosecant of every single angle. And then beginning on the other side from the bottom, you have the angles from 45 all the way through 90. So you have, you have all the information you need for every single angle, angle we're going to worry about when we're bending conduit. And so what we need to find is the cosecant of the angle. So we're going to do 30 degree bend and you probably already know it's two, but where did we find that? Well, we went to 30 degrees, we went all the way to the cosecant of the angle, and we see that the cosecant is two. So what do we use that for? We're gonna come over to our bender and we're gonna start measuring for a six inch offset. So come with me over to the bender. Okay, so this is gonna be our first offset bend, and I'm gonna take my tape measure, and I'm gonna put my first mark just arbitrarily. I'm gonna pretend my first mark on my offset is going to be at 12 inches, 12 inches from the end of my pipe. I'm using pencil, so it's easy to get off the pipe. And so I'm going to put my mark at 12. And then here's where the cosecant, here's where you need the cosecant of the angle. I'm doing 30 degree bends. So the cosecant of 30 degrees, according to my trigonometry tables, is two. So two times the distance I want this offset to rise from the floor or from the wall. So I want to make a six inch offset. So two times six would be 12. So I need to, need to make my marks 12 inches apart. So there, I've made my marks and I'm just gonna quickly just make my marks go around the pipe a little bit. All right, so I'm gonna make my marks, then I'm gonna put this in the bender facing one direction. All my bends will be in the same direction. You don't want to flip your pipe around. You're going to mess it all up. Everything needs to be in the same direction. So now I got my pipe marked. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put it in my, in my bender right here. Okay, I've brought it into my bender. And I'm lining up my line with the end of my shoe. And I'm just going to put a little bit of, just a tiny little bit of tension on the pipe. I can still move the pipe. So now what I want to do is I want to go over here and I want to level my pipe with that level down at the end. Okay, so I'm going to rotate my, co my conduit until my level right here is level. That's a little bit too much. Go back. And now I'm doing this so that my conduit is nice and straight all the way through the bend. Perfect. So I want my conduit straight all the way through the bend. If we don't level the conduit when we bend this, when we flip the conduit over, if it's a little bit off, and it's easy to have it a little bit off, your pipe will angle. It won't, it won't be a nice straight bend through the angle. It will have something what we call in the industry a dog leg. 
it'll be crooked. And so we don't want it to be crooked. So uh, level the pipe and then start your bend. When you make your second bend, level it again, it'll be good. Now, when I was growing up, when I was uh, a young electrician, that's, this is the way we used to do it. Uh, today, everybody has these no dog levels and they put it on the end of the pipe. I like this method better. I like the old method better because I can see the bubble from where I'm working. This one, I have to come over here to the end and, and look at it. So I'm not gonna use this level right here. Okay, now we're gonna come over and we're gonna begin to make our first bend. So let's, I'm gonna start my bender. And actually, before I do that, let me put the protractor on my conduit. And I can see that I am about one degree out of level. So I, I have my, my mark here about one degree more than 30. Now, there's gonna also be a little bit of kickback so I wanna make sure that I'm gonna get my 30 degree bend. So that's 20 degrees, 25, and I'm getting close to 30. That's about 32 degrees, but when I let off the bender, it's actually going to give. And so I can see that I am at about 28 degrees. So let me put my mark back on back on the shoe and bend it just a tad more. I'm gonna to go to about 33 degrees. And I have about a 30 degree bend. So that's my first bend. And now I'm gonna take my pipe, I'm gonna rotate it. And I'm gonna to get to my second mark. And now I'm going to make sure the, let me get, just tighten it up just a hair. Just to snug it up. I'm gonna make sure my level, my pipe is level again. Now I don't touch the level. I rotate the pipe until the level is level. If I touch the level, then I'll mess this whole thing up. So I'm just gonna rotate, get pretty close. Here we go. So I got my level pretty close, and I'm gonna come over here and make my second bend. Let me put my protractor, now my protractor, I'm gonna have to go upside down only because I don't have enough room here between my shoe and the top of my pipe. Go to about 33 again, 34. Release my bend. All right, so I put my pipe back down on the table. You can see that I, on this table, I have this piece of angle iron here, and I have a piece of angle iron at the end, and I have my pipe pushed all the way against the, the end here, and you can see that my pipe lays nice and flat against the table. That means I don't have a dog leg. If I had a dog leg in my pipe, it, this would either be up a little bit, or the, you'd see the pipe going down or up here, and it lays nice and flat against the table. You can also see that I've got my bend is a little bit open. So I, I, uh, the second bend was a little bit too much. So we're gonna have to take a little bit of that out. But uh, here I have my first offset. Now we're gonna make some more offsets. But what I wanted to talk about was how do I make another off, if I made another offset the same exact way I made this offset. The problem is, is that through my offset, the pipes would get closer and closer together. And we don't want that. We want our pipes to, if we have say, an inch and a half gap between our conduits, we want that inch and a half gap all the way through our bend. How are we gonna do that? That's what I wanted to show you today. And it's really, really simple. You're gonna use the Uglies book once again, and you're gonna use the tangent of half the angle. That's all you need to know. You need to know the distance between your pipes from center to center, and you need to know the tangent of half this angle. So this was a 30 degree angle. What's half 30 degrees? It's 15. So the tangent of 15 degrees times the distance from center to center on the pipe. I can tell you the tangent for 30 degrees, it's right here in your Uglies book, or you can use your calculator to find it. The tangent of 30 degrees is 0.5774 or 0.58, uh, but the tangent of 15 degrees is which the tangent of half the angle, if you remember. The tangent of 15 degrees 
is 0.2679. Okay, so we're gonna take 0.2679, or we're just gonna look at our, get a calculator out, and say our next pipe, actually let me get another piece of pipe and I'll show you what I'm talking about. I have another pipe here next to my original conduit. And I just wanted to show you if I have, let's say, if I wanna maintain about an inch and a half gap in this pipe, then my center to center distance is going to be about two and three quarter inches. So I want to take two and three quarters times the tangent of half the angle. And I'm gonna open up my calculator and I'm gonna come over to my calculator and say the tangent of half the angle, so 10, 15, close parentheses, times 2.75 inches equals 0 0.73, 0 0.73. 3.6, so about 0.74, or almost three quarters of an inch. That's almost three quarters of an inch. So that is, if I wanted to make another offset bend, outside this offset bend, I'm gonna have to add to my original mark, I'm gonna have to add almost three quarters of an inch. We'll just go with that, three quarters of an inch to my original first mark. Now my first mark was at 12 inches. So I'm gonna go 12 and three quarter and I'm gonna make my first mark. Then if, and let's go ahead and rotate that over. That's 12 and three quarter from the end. It's three quarters of an inch longer than our last bend. And I'm gonna come down and I'm gonna measure another 12 inches for my six inch offset, because the offset's the same. And I mark the pipe there. All right, and then I'm gonna bend this offset just like we did the first one. All right, so I got this. Now let's go, I got this on. I got my level back on, my new conduit. Now we're gonna put it in the bender. Okay, let me tighten this up just a hair, wrong way. All right, now I want to tighten that up and I'm gonna level my level once again. All right, now I'm gonna Get my protractor on, and I'm gonna bend my next 30 degree bend. Turn the pipe around, bring it to my second mark. Tighten up the bender just a hair and level my pipe once again, and make my second 30 degree bend. You can see that my gap stays pretty equal all the way through the bend. And you just continue to do that. The next bend, this one was done at 12 and three quarter. The next bend will be done at 13 and a half, and so forth and so on. Uh, and if you do that, you'll maintain the level of your gap all the way through every single one of your bends. And so that's how you do parallel offsets uh, with, a, with a conduit bender. You, you have to remember that it's the tangent of half the angle times the distance, center to center distance of your conduit. So if you have a four inch conduit next to a two inch conduit, you can do that, but you have to remember to keep, uh, to, to, to figure out what the center to center distance is so you can get your measurements for your half the angle, half the, ta the tangent of half the angle. So that's it for today on parallel offsets. If you like these videos, give us a thumbs up. If you wanna see more videos like this, uh, leave a comment in the, in the description box below. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel so thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.